Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Can you tell we're having a good time? I can tell. Okay, it's awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right, he's the self-proclaimed president of the Comedians Association and one of the funniest dudes around. He brought us some of the most hilarious shows on television, and he keeps us in stitches with his stand-up. <laughs> Please welcome comedian Chris Spencer. Yay! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Be careful now. You can't move like that around here. Hi, How you doing? How you doing? It's so nice to see oh, ya. Nice. Hi, you How you doing? Right here. Me? Right yes, here? right here. Right here. Be gentle. Be gentle. Uh, okay, there you go. How you doing? Comfortable. You looking good? Yes. I know. I know I do. And look at your outfit. Well, no. Listen. Let me let me tell you about my shoes. Okay. Um, I had a white Uber driver. Uh-huh. He burnt my Jordans. Oh! So I had to put what was in my suitcase. Right. Yeah, but these are Nike too. They are Nike. Yeah, they are. I yeah. see you represent. Oh, look at the shoe it. cam. Come on now. Come oh, yeah, on, sister. Get that circle. Close. Look like, at that. One and of them has a corn. Let me see. Let me no, it's it. fine. You this actually have very good. nice. You know, people have a good side. Men. This is my good toe. Oh yes, yeah. I have a good foot. Let me see. I, well, not right now. Oh, okay, it's fine. No. Totally fine. Look, look, look. But it looks like you get good pedicures. I work out with your sisters in this gym called Drenched. Which sister? You know, I have 12 of them. I know. Um, <laughs> Tamar. Okay. And one called Tony. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, 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 yeah. looking good. Yeah, so let's talk more about you. Let's Chris, talk about obviously. me, because this is my little segment. <laughs> this, is, this is your big segment. Yes. It's not, nothing little about Sister Circle. This is my so anyway, yes, it is. Go ahead. Um, so when you thought of your life, you know, all the way back, right. was entertainment always a part of what you wanted to do, looking back? Yeah, I was, I was like a lot of comedians, I was the class clown. Mm -hmm. But I also got straight A's. Yeah. But then I also got U's, which is unsatisfactory. Right, right, right. That's all right. We just that's because you're you're angelic. You no, are that's angelic. That's actually Go my ahead. theme Go song. Ahead. I'm yes. about to freestyle right yes. now. Yes. No. Um. Uh. So that was kind of my natural calling. Uh. When we had assemblies and stuff, where mm -hmm. people come to perform at the school, I would be the host, the MC. Gotcha. And then it just came. It just became a natural progression. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. And you say that you are. A comedian who writes, right. not a writer who does comedy. What does that mean? Right. So there's a lot of um, writers who are naturally gifted writers that want to do stand up. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't the way I came into it. I was a stand up that wasn't getting stand up gigs, so then I began to write and produce. Gotcha, okay. gotcha, gotcha. So I had kids, they needed dental and medical, and mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? Um, let me do something that's going to provide for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what does writing give you that comedy or stand-up doesn't? Like, what, what joy do you get out of writing? There's a, there, it's, it's, it's good and bad. Okay, okay. It's a, it's a steady paycheck, and but it, it, it's painful when you're a performer and you're watching somebody else do your words. Mm -hmm. You're like, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. Or I'm the one that should be out there. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm too cute to be writing for people. Right, 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 right. You, you, look, you well, do look good. That same toe cam can get in my face. Yes, yeah. look at that. <laughs> so uh, why, why would you want this in a writer's room? Yeah. Right? This should be on a show like this. Mm -hmm. Y'all should add brother and sister circle. No, then it wouldn't have the impact. No, no, brothers, more brothers would watch. No, but... We, the, then we should do brother square. Okay. No. Like no, sister circle, that brother didn't work. square. Yeah, that didn't work. That didn't work. Right after. No, no, we're good. Let's have our own thing, man. Right after y'all <laughs> okay, show. Okay, got we it. We could have a little block on. T come yeah, on. Got it. I need you to share. <laughs> I wouldn't want to share. I wouldn't want to share. So you talk a little bit about your your kids. A well, lot a lot of, about yes, your kids yes. and your wife and your stand up. Yeah. So how have they continued to give you content throughout? They can't help it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm married to a, a, a overbearing uh, wife <laughs> who thinks, who thinks no. I'm rich. Yeah. No, no. I mean, she thinks I'm rich because all my friends are rich. You know, okay. I work with Jamie Foxx, Kevin Hart, mm -hmm. all your favorite blacks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so <laughs> she she thinks we're them. I'm like, no, baby, we work for them. We're the help. Yeah, okay. Stop. <laughs> so when that happens, you know, she thinks we can do the same things as them. Like mm -hmm. we're friends with the Hearts, Kevin mm -hmm. and Nico Hart. Oh, there's my family. Oh, oh and good family. beautiful, beautiful family. See how good looking I am? What you, yes. want? What you want? That guy, right? Yes. Um, oh, no, of course. We so want you. we no. hang out with them, and we're supposed to go to Europe. No, mm -hmm. I can do Europe. Okay, I'm, I'm a multi-thousandaire, like right? I, I can do mm -hmm. Europe. And my wife was like, you know what I was thinking? We should fly private. I was like, what? It's we should cheaper. fly private. It's cheaper sometimes. Okay, y'all forgot you're a Braxton. Don't talk to me. Yeah, go ahead. She's like, we should fly private. I was like, private? You mean don't tell nobody? Right. That's about as private as it's going to get. Right. I was thinking Southwest uh -huh. with about 42 stops. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yes. Yeah, so that's what happens. Yes. And they so, want things. So did you did you fly, did you fly private? private? No. Okay, oh. good. We didn't even go. I was so mad. Oh. Yes. Not we right. ended up going to Vegas, mm -hmm. but they have a section that looks like Europe. So it was how fun. about that? How yes. about that? So we're gonna have more with Chris Spencer when we return. So stay right with us. <laughs>
Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We're back with comedian Chris Spencer. Yay! 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 yay. <laughs> uh, Chris, we know that you're an amazing writer, but my question to you is, is stand-up your first love? Absolutely. Yeah. And why is that? Because in stand-up, I get to be the star of the show, the writer, the director, and the producer. So it's all me. Mm -hmm. I get to be selfish and greedy. Yes. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's the truth. I mean, who, who doesn't want to be selfish and greedy? Yeah. That's true. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. You know, at the beginning of the show, we, we, we introed you saying, yeah, your, your favorite, favorite comedian. comedians. Favorite and that's not that's my not, moniker. That's not your moniker. That's, that's Tony not your... Rock's yeah, moniker. Right. Okay. And Tony Rock likes to fight, so I want you to change that. <laughs> <laughs> but the good thing is, I'm Tony Rock's favorite comedian. Yes. yes. How about that? Yeah, yeah, I wanted to clarify that real quick. Also, point of clarification do you golf with Obama? I mean, I have on occasion. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you guys don't have any proof that I've ever <laughs> played with him. <laughs> uh, no, I've actually, um, Ray Allen, mm -hmm. who's a Hall yep. of Famer now, Ray yep. Allen from yesterday. Uh, we went to Martha. He took me to Martha's Vineyard. It was fun. Uh, yes, and we played. I played. I played golf for uh, several summers with the president. No, it's, it's been, not. Yeah. It's been so delightful. Is it really? Yes. On the ink. Oh, 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 oh. speak. How you guys? Who got the? How'd you get yeah, that picture? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there must have been paparazzi following me, yeah. or, or maybe Alonzo. That's Alonzo Morning as well. In the I picture. love him. Yeah. yeah. And, and Another rich black people that we hang out with. So the, it's funny be. the company that you keep. You should yes. be flying I, private. I private. Should. Exactly. Stop. You know. You know. Yeah. Just because you have a Braxton plane, no. <laughs> see. no. That's it. see. We fly <laughs> private on Spirit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So, right. are you going to be flying private on your comedy tour? Yeah. Uh, not the one I'm on right now. Okay. okay. Yes. So can this we is the Greyhound tour. Okay. The Greyhound. Uh, <laughs> we're going to select cities. Uh, no, uh, me and myself, uh, Buddy Lewis, who's mm -hmm. a very funny comedian, he's on the road with me, and um, we write and produce. So it's n it's not like we're doing a tour. Okay. You know, when we're in between gigs. Uh, we like to go out and do stand up to just, yeah. just to keep sharp. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Can you talk to us a little bit about how you encourage younger people about the process of writing? Because I think so many people want to be on stage. Yeah, I really don't care about the young You don't? People. No. Well, come on, I Chris. Want them to stay in their lane and, and not try to take. No. Um, <laughs> I definitely, I think it's important that, especially these young comedians yes. who are getting all this love from the internet, yes. to mm -hmm. make sure that they write because a lot of times, you know, they, they, they pee in a fan and all of a sudden they got uh, a, million a million followers, followers. Yeah. and then they get, they're asked to go perform at the Laugh Pickle in Georgia mm -hmm. and they don't have any material. So mm -hmm. I'm telling them before you go out and do these gigs, make sure you're writing real jokes yes. or bring the fan on stage and pee on it and <laughs> then introduce other comedians. Maybe it could be like, I don't know what, whatever his name is, MC mm -hmm. pee a lot <laughs> and then you do your little five minutes that you have and then have other comedians on the show. So your name is the draw. Yeah. And then these other people who have material can, 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 yeah. can sustain a and show. And you can start testing your workout. Uh, really you quickly before we go, your favorite comedian of all time? Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. I think most comedians of my age group and caliber, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we would say Richard Pryor. I'm right. Richard right, Pryor, good. yeah. Well, Chris, continue success on everything. Definitely. You. You Listen, I right. have nothing to do. Okay, I can, you can I can stay. You can stay. Well, <laughs> he's going to be at the Atlanta, uh, actually, Uptown Comedy Corner. Yes. Yes, all yeah. weekend long. So grab your tickets right. now, and he is selling out, guys. Definitely. And the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV. <laughs> Come on, Stop Pete. Up. Chris Spencer, everybody, on the couch. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.